Hello, yes, Labour do not represent the white working class. Well, not in Kensington anyway. The white working class in Kensington, I understand why they vote Labour because there's no viable alternative. They did switch to Lib Dems, 204 was it, and, and quickly switch back to Labour once the Lib Dems went in a coalition with the Tories. And I can understand why the white working class still votes Labour. If a viable alternative was presented to them in Kensington, I'm sure they would vote for it. I am sure they would, right? They know Labour. Well, a large majority of them must know that Labour doesn't have the white working class interest at heart. Because if it did, it wouldn't flood the area full of um, third world immigrants that has trashed it. There's crime, prostitution, there's filth, there's rubbish, there's everything you can imagine. Uh, that community is now suffering. Okay, they can all blame central government, but like I've said before in many videos, they've all remained silent about it, haven't they? What Labour councillors to date have voiced their opinion that they don't want no more third world immigrants dumped in Kensington? None. So at the very, very least, they are remaining silent. They are complicit in all this. So why are they still voting Labour? Well, that's because there's no viable alternative. But if a viable alternative was presented to the white working class of Kensington, I'm sure they would take it. In fact, I'd put money on it. They would. And that alternative will arrive one day. I just want to get the ball rolling, right, to let them understand that they have a voice. And also to let them know that if they don't stand up and shout loud enough, they are going to lose their community. Like I've said before, multiculturalism is all about displacing the white indigenous people of, that, of those communities. That's what it's about, right? It's not about all mixing in together. It's about flooding uh, white working class communities with third world immigrants, which eventually drive them out or they leave. That's multiculturalism for you in action, right? So the vote and Labour because there's no viable alternative. But what has Labour done for them in Kensington? Built a few more houses. Well, that doesn't resolve the already festering problems there that have been festering for 10, 15 years, if not longer. The prostitutes are still there. You know, you get rid of the prostitutes. You just tell the police to enforce the law, end of, and they're not doing so. Uh, and many other uh, crimes, other issues in the area. It just needs a firm hand to resolve these matters, but it's not happening. And again, the Labour councillors are silent on this, right? All you socialists, right, that profess multiculturalism, the best thing since sliced bread and let's have more diversity. You don't live in and around Shield Road, Bollinger Road. You live outside the community, right? And a lot of the champagne socialists, Christ, they wouldn't touch Kensington with a barge pole. It's beneath them. They're the biggest hypocrites going. So people vote Labour, let's say in Kensington, because there's not a viable alternative when such an alternative is presented to them, they will take it like they did vote and Lib Dem in 204. Uh, so at the moment, there isn't a viable alternative. There's resistance building up in the community, and I'm leading it. But I'm here now for the forgotten and beleaguered white working class of Kensington. The Labour councillors, whatever their personal views are, they may be the same as mine, to be honest, they're not going to voice them, right? They're going to let the third world swamp and colonize Kensington till all the original residents and anyone else that's white has been driven out. So Labour do not represent the white working class. Joe Owens does. Okay, thank you.